So in this video, we are going to talk about how to downgrade the software of an iDirect modem. And uh, normally, we would use iSight for upgrading the modem, and uh, that, that works fine. But downgrading is actually not supported by iDirect. You can do it using iSight sometimes, and other times you will run into some problems. So we will show you a way on how to, to downgrade uh, in a way that will actually work. And the reason why you need to downgrade sometimes is that the, the beams are running different versions of uh, the hub software. Some of them are running 12 and some of them are running 14. And uh, the software and the modem need to be the same as on the hub. So we have connected the, in this case, the laptop to the um, iDirect modem using an Ethernet cable. And um, now we need to verify that we have IP connectivity to the modem. And the easiest thing is to open up the command prompt and then try to ping the modem. Oops. And in this case, it's 192.168.0.1. Um, and that means, of course, that you should know the IP address of your modem. Without the IP address, I mean, you'll not get anywhere. And you will need to have your laptop on the same network as the modem. So how do we find out what kind of uh, IP address we actually have? If we type in IP config, we will be able to see that in this case we have 192.168.0.2. This will also come in handy at a later stage because we will need this IP address to use in iSight. Okay, so we have verified IP connectivity to the modem. Uh, over here, we have the software containing iSight, we will need that, and we have putty.exe, which is our SSH client, and we will also need that. And in this folder called version 12, we have version 12 software for the modem. We will downgrade in this example here, in this demonstration, we will downgrade from 14.035 to 12.000. Okay. Okay. So let's start with iSight. Uh, in this case, we're using actually iSight version 14, to, but it doesn't matter what version actually we use of iSight. What we're going to use it for is actually as a TFTP server. If you have something else you use normally as a TFTP server, then use that if, if you want to. It's, not important. So just we need a TFTP server to do this downgrade. Okay, you see this points to actually the folder we had out here. Try we that. can actually see here on the desktop. There it is. Version 12. Uh, this is where from that folder the TFTP server will actually uh, look for its files. So that actually. means that this right here is the same as, as this guy over yeah. here. So we can click OK and OK. Yeah. And then we can just again show that here we have the software we need for yeah. the modem. Okay? Yep. Yeah. So that is the TFTP server. Next thing is that. So now the TFTP server is running. Yep. And it's ready. And then we need to connect to the modem using PuTTY. PuTTY. Again, if you have something else we use for SSH, uh, Hyper, something, um, then use that. It's not important as long as you get a connection to the modem. So here you enter the modem IP address. Yeah, which in our case is uh, this IP address, but again... Yeah. And you be. make sure that this is set to SSH, port yeah. 22. And here I log in as root, and the password you need to know. So and we're in. Yep, great. So I'm in the uh, in the Linux part of the modem, and here we have uh, a script called tftp package uh, which is actually a script that uh, will get the the packets from the uh, from the tftp server, and then extract it and put it on the, the modem. So I need to tell it actually where to get it from, and that was why we. You did the IP config because we know now that our laptop where the uh, TFP server the, in the eyesight is running on is a dot two. 
And uh, then I need to tell it which package to actually download. And that was what we saw over here. Um, and so first we take the Linux part of... Yeah, that's uh, if, if you used to actually upgrade to, to version 12, uh, not 12, but 13 or 14 or something like that. Uh, I directly actually changed uh, what the names and the packages, right? Uh, in 14, for instance, there will be a, a small package called something like BSP uh, in the end, and there will be a, a, another big package called RMT, and it will be the same whether you have an X3 modem or X5 modem. So uh, here you will need to know whether you have an X3 or an X5. Yeah. Yeah. But the, but first, the Linux, the first packet that we are going to to uh, install or to upload to the modem, I guess, download yeah. to the modem, whatever, is the Linux. Yeah. Package. That's the so, Linux. So I pressed F2 actually, and then I just copied the the file name. Uh, that way so I don't you miss. save a lot of uh, misspelling and yeah. Yeah, and then just, just right click, then it will actually. So you right click on the mouse and it will put it in uh, there. Okay. Probably, probably just paste out. Yeah. Okay. And then you press enter. Yep. And then hopefully. And then hopefully the TFTP server will be ready online and do its thing. I have seen sometimes that you need to restart it for some reason. Yeah, it's yeah. not some some reason. It's, it's not the most stable TFTP server. No, no. So sometimes it's, it's necessary actually to restart iSight once more and, and go and point to the folder again. But in this uh, case it looks as if it's it's working. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Yep. And waiting. Okay, pattern installed. So up until now, all looks good. Yep. Hopefully, it will actually in the end write that it succeeded. Yep, installed successfully. Very Great. happy. So now we need to install. I mean, in our case, we are we are working on an X3 modem. So now we need to install this particular packet, right? Yep. So we so do this. So F2 again, mm. and mark the text, yes. and copy it. Yep. Okay. And, and then, then we I, go back I, to I the SSH. do the lazy way and uh, actually use. You the press list. arrow up, and then we go back. And press right. Yeah, you, you right click there. Yep. And just and then enter. enter. And then same thing happens again. And the same thing. Yeah. The first thing was the Linux uh, system, and this one is actually the one that installs the, the Falcon, the the IDirect software. And after this is completed, we have a version. We we, we have a, a reboot. And then we have a version 12, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that means that after the reboot, you would be able to take your option file and just open up iSight and install the option file like you, you normally would. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually also possible to do from here, but. Let's yeah. keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. That's the uh, the better way.
It's all looking good up until now at least. Do you know if it's possible to check the version before a reboot? Will it be able to tell us that it actually has version 12 installed now? Uh, prior to reboot or will a reboot be, be necessary in order to to show the, um, the, the version? Do we begin? So we, we can try that after this. Yep. It's actually a very good check to do just to, to verify that we are on the correct software. I mean, this cannot be speeded up in any way, shape, or form, right? So nope. it's just a matter of having enough coffee and some patience. So uh, I will tell that into the Falcon software, which is Telnet Zero. Yep. And in this case, when I log into the Falcon, it's no longer root, it's admin. That's what you will need. You cannot share it here. You see, still says actually version 14. Yeah. So let's reboot. And then of course I lost network connectivity. Yeah. So you exited your Telnet session to Telnet Zero, came yeah. back and into the SSH, yes. and you did a reboot. Yeah. Yeah. So now we will send continuous pings towards the. Uh, the modem. Let's see when it's, it's actually pretty fast on the uh, on the Ethernet part of. Oh, they're they're timed out. Yeah. It's booting. And this is now where it's it's great to have some extra coffee while we wait for for the reboot to take place. I mean, of course, if you prefer tea, I guess that's okay also. Whatever gets you through the night. Mm -hmm. And if we don't want to write reboot, we could just have power cycled the modem yeah. instead. That would have given us the same. Result. Okay, so now the Ethernet is coming up, and I can see that the LEDs in front of the modem is changing status. Yeah, so I guess we can connect. This is exchange also started. Yep. I could of course also directly have tell Nether to it. Yeah. This. Yep. Oh, version twelve. So we have a winner. Yes. So this is how you downgrade the modem from higher versions down to version 12 or whatever version you need to downgrade to actually. It's just a matter of you correct software, knowing the IP address of the modem, and uh, the I side and SSH client, and that's more or less it. Yep. I guess that was it from, from us for this time. See you in another one.